See? Seeing this page now doesn't fill me with joy anymore. It hurts. But you saw the title of this video, so I'm honestly just going to jump into it. The type soul developers are just pulling out, I think, the worst cards right now. And I want to talk about it because I still actually do play the game. Even though I don't record it and upload it because it's like peroxide season right now. And it's peroxide that was absolutely killing it. Type Soul is still a game that I enjoy. Outside of that though, the Type Soul changes that were recently posted last night are actually just pretty bad. So I might as well just go over it because I feel like most of these balance changes are just honestly cosmetic changes. And what I mean by that is essentially it's just bad. It is literally just like skinning off the surface of the real issues inside the game. Stuff like Hakuda still being what it is, is it's just so crazy to me because these changes weren't really that bad and I feel like how the developers are looking at it is that they're just trying to balance all of the OP stuff that people haven't had before and I feel like a large factor that plays into it is the fact that the developers probably don't actually play the game. The recent raid nerf is literally telling you to not play raids, like how would you actually play raids? It says raid damage contribution is now only counted from opposing factions and raids. I have a screenshot of me being inside a raid yesterday where I think like number two stern raider was on the leaderboard or something. I'm not sure, but if you just look at how much players are inside the raids, it's like 29 soul reapers to four Quincy's. The, how are 29 people going to get credit from four players? It is literally making it so that if you play raids and you get anything like type of uh, art of soul, gladiator, it's like you're not getting damage for it. It's, it's literally becoming pointless to actually play raids. And raids is like the only saving thing for this game right now because it's giving people an excuse to fight, pop their end game modes. And it's just like the fact that that just got technically gutted is just pretty dumb. Now, I do want to say at the time of recording this video, he actually did do this poll that said remove raid damage requirement until raids are reworked. You could just add a raid queue. I'm just saying adding a raid queue would fix this, but this is a good poll and it's obviously going to go through because it's ridiculous it's, this literally made it so that you can't even play the game and most of these nerfs that you see right here are mainly for like skill boxes or just end game stuff that i feel like majority or a good amount of the player base does not have the things that people are really complaining about is probably just mainly going to be the skill trees if you actually look at the polls channel again most of the votes actually ended up getting removed but if you just look right here hakuda has 3,000 votes i promise to you hakuda was the most voted thing here and what did they do for hakuda they just nerfed some like minor skills not even balancing or just touching the whole bulk of it and i do feel like the devs are trying in some sense but it's like they're not listening to what people actually want these nerfs that they did right here or balance changes are okay. They gutted Flower, they gutted Va True Vasto. Yo, if you were a True Vasto, rest in peace to you. They gutted um some skill box moves and they started like balancing the essences too. But the thing is, most players do not have that. Like you're doing all these nerfs and buffs that are just going to affect the minority when you should be focusing on the majority of players. I think this should go in order of you balancing or buffing or nerfing the stuff that most of the players are going to be using, which is not going to be the skill box skills. It's not going to be the essence skills. It's not going to be the end game forms. And then you just work your way up from there because then you address what most players are experiencing and then you start paying more attention to the players who actually did put inside the grind and you know you do stuff like this like getting all the forms basically and i also feel like looking inside the suggestions channel would actually just help now he recently did do this hi why are raids unplayable was it not just spawn kill thank god that one developer is actually looking inside the suggestion channel now because it was just borderline ridiculous and the only reason why i'm being so i guess rude or anything like that is because the game's genuinely good it has so much potential and the combat's actually good it feels like each update you're just backtracking which is not good for developers but if you look here he said why are raids unplayable was it not just spawn kill yes he said raid participation and conquest should not come from just damage but the x amount of percent captured like some of these suggestions are actually good add incentive to raid places increase chances for hogoku fragments and soul society waco scale boxes wand and rerolls accessories i feel like if you just make a raid queue it would literally be even numbers and if you look here this person ip said just make a raid queuing system so it's actual even numbers and less likely for people to afk would it not be so easy to just make a raid queue you literally just make a raid queue a certain amount of people get put inside a pool 
as a mix between Quincy's or Encore Soul Reapers, and you just fight. It would literally just be a huge team FFA of people who are actually playing the game, and you can still get the rewards and the progression that you need. It just makes it so much easier, and it makes so much sense. And I do understand, actually, I don't understand. What's the point of having to like calculate all these server times? Now, it's not hard because it's every 40 minutes, but still, it's just pointless. You could just have the regular servers for people to actually go and, what, play with their friends or just kill bosses and stuff. Or you can add another incentive later down the line to the regular servers so that it's not like everybody's just in raid queue and there's no reason for the actual main game. So, honestly, I feel like everything is just good. And I honestly, like, even though the update is pretty bad, as somebody who isn't really affected by this, I personally like it. Now, I did see right here that they did a blood nerf called Hemorrhage Frame, frame 1 Hit Cancel Remove. Oh my god. My heart almost dropped when I seen any blood nerf inside the thing. Because blood is balanced, I don't care what nobody says the Bankai is fair. But, thank god they didn't nerf blood. But I just want to say, honestly, like, this whole update is just pretty bad. The new Aronkar Red Phoenix is... I don't even want to talk about it because you've probably already seen it. Look at that. Like, just look at that res. It is literally just deep bulking. Oh, I said deep bulking. It's literally just like 2017 one piece game graphics put inside a type soul. And not only that, the worst part about it is inside the res, when you die, you just blow up and you get auto gripped. <laughs> what? I've never, I haven't even thought of that. You dying inside your res and you just blow up. Like, imagine doing a little bit of damage. What? You have like some minor effects and you're like, all right, let me just die now. And boom, you're dead. Like, I feel like they're trying, but honestly, I just don't know what to say. Like, these these updates recently have just been so bad. I feel like if you listen to the community or just start listening, it would just be more positive, more light. I don't like to compare the games because they have like completely different dev teams and Type Soul wasn't originally going to be for public players. But the Paroxa developers are absolutely killing it. The changes that they're making are honestly just positive buffs like they're just positive changes they're like adjusting it slowly taking their time with the community they would adjust something leave it there and let it simmer for like a day with the community and then come back and ask them okay do you like this change if not how can we change it to make it better and slowly just go through trial and error to see which things work and which things don't for type soul it's like you would drop the update see that most of things aren't going to work and then just go afk for like the next two to three days or four weeks so honestly i feel like like a good start to making updates the right way inside type soul would just be to listen to the community now i don't know if they like just listen to cc players if they even listen to cc players if they listen to mods admins or it's just like the internal dev team making all the changes but honestly it's just starting to become like ridiculous like how hasn't a raid queue been added it has literally been suggested so much times and it would make it so much easier you just add a raid queue, then you slowly add an incentive to main game. Like, it, it, it would literally fix the two problems that could come from adding the raid queue. So yeah, honestly, this update was pretty okay. The code is good, that's a good thing. The new Quincy weapon is, it's good, but it's Quincy's. Soul Reapers don't get love inside this game. <laughs> what? You chose Soul Reaper and type Soul? Uh, are you dumb? Don't do that. But yeah, let me know what you think about this type Soul update. I am a Blood Soul Reaper, so I wasn't really affected by this update. I don't even know what footage I'm going to be playing up as the background. It might just be me fighting my Bankai or something. But yeah, Type So, these updates are not good. I, f I really do recommend, if any developer is watching this video, which I highly doubt, just listen to the community, slowly implement things, and then you change it, adjust it to like, how the community reacts to it. But outside of that, um, hopefully you enjoyed this update, and I hope that you got vamp or something on one of your rerolls and this is just a random side note but some dude literally made a video rerolling blood because type soul is dead <laughs> he has to flip on that i'm just saying that is crazy